Hey guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. This is Vlogmas Day 4. So I actually haven't been out in a while and this video is actually going to be up in time. So when you watch this video, this day actually happened in the day because what happened was well my first three videos of vlogmas were already pre-filmed like a week in advance just in case something happened something did happen so i got sick first of all and then i had this really bad eye infection so what happened was i think i had some allergic reaction to some skincare product i use i used to use this product before and it was fine and then after when I came back from Australia, I used it again. Maybe it went off, I don't know, but it gave me like a really bad rash around my eyes, so it went all red. I was pretty much in bed because, as you probably saw in my last vlog in Ikebukuro, I got sick at the end of the video, uh, which, yeah, was bad because it lasted for like three days, so I couldn't really do much, which sucked. But anyway, today I feel a lot better now. My cold is still here, but it's gotten a lot better, so I'm okay to go out now and my eye is a lot better so I can finally put on makeup it's still really dry so towards the end of the day if it starts flaking then you guys will know why so today Bronwyn and I are going to go to Tokyo station area we were talking for like I think an hour yesterday on where to go because we don't know where to go we wanted to go somewhere different because every time we go out it's always Ikebukuro, Shibuya, Shinjuku honestly I'm really bored of those places now like and it's also a Sunday so there's going to be a lot of people there and I'm not dealing with crowds today so um yeah we debated for like i don't know an hour on where to go and we decided in the end let's go to tokyo station area because we don't really go around that area much and hopefully we can go explore find some new places to go so yeah we're gonna head out now to tokyo station i know a few places around tokyo and if you get bored we can head towards the ginza area because you, it's like a walking distance so yeah we'll see how we go we want to be back before dinner though because um i've got a lot of things i need to do i need to clean my room actually because sunny da hey is coming over in just two days and there's like no place for her to walk around in my room so i need to do that um but yeah i'm gonna go out now so see you in tokyo made it to tokyo station and my eye really hurts right now like it's really dry again so i guess i just need to be more careful and maybe put on less makeup next time something like that i don't know um but now we are gonna go get some food we decided to go get some mexican food because yeah. I don't know, I've just been really, I love Mexican food. We haven't had it in forever. Yeah, and I don't know, I can't really find good Mexican places in Japan, so hopefully this one's good, because it's rated pretty high. So I'm, we're going to go get some burritos, hopefully. Yes. Um, and then afterwards we're going to go shopping, so there's a few things I want to look at, a few things I want to buy as well. Might buy my boots today, because I wanted boots, like I said in the last vlog, and I never got to buy it. And then, I don't know, just shop around, there's H&M around here. I'm gonna go to H&M and then want to buy a new handbag. So, well, I just have a look. I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> just looking, like window just shopping. Looking. I'm just window shopping. I'm not gonna <laughs> buy it. Checking prices just to see which country is the cheapest country to buy it in. It's probably not Japan because I don't get tax free here, unfortunately. It's probably gonna be in, in Australia again. It's always cheap in Australia for some reason. That's see, that seems really Weird. good to me. What else? I don't know. Maybe we can get some nice dessert at a nice cafe because yeah. there's really nice cafes around here. We might go to Ginza for that though, there's, I think there's more in Ginza, but we'll just see, because Ginza's like a 10 minute walk, it's close. Just got out of the station, there's like this market thing going on, so we're going to have a look. It's kind of cool. Got some antiques and stuff. Actually, I realise I have no cash on me, I've got like $10, so I really have to go withdraw some money. So, we're going to go to an ATM now. There's also a Shake Shack here as well, just opened up. I haven't tried it yet though, I don't know if it's good in Japan or not. Your fries are good. Are oh, the fries are good? It's probably really crowded today though. This is like a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, going inside here now, I think they still got the Halloween stuff up. But we're gonna go inside here and eat for Mexican. Yeah, oh, they look like they have a lunch for 1,500 yen. Oh, a special lunch set. Mm -hmm. I might do that. Okay, let's go eat here. They got plates like 500 yen, so I guess you can just kind of like do separate if you want as well. Like order individual items. Yeah. yeah. But I might just do the set. Oh, I don't know. Do I feel like what the it? set comes with. So it's like a salad, a main, and dessert. So you've got a nice view here with the Yamanote line in front of us. 
give us a sangria, they said, so oh, I don't know. Is it alcoholic? I'm not sure. Try it. So. Yeah, I think there is alcohol here. <laughs> they just assumed. I can taste it. I mean, they, they just assumed that we are 20 plus one in Ireland right now, especially. Mm. It's good though. It's like sweet. Yeah, it's got. I don't know what it has. I think wine in it, maybe. Yeah, sangria usually has wine. Yeah. Which means um, I'm a, like I'm actually allergic to wine. I mean, it won't kill me, but or I'm allergic like champagne. to champagne. Wine or champagne? Oh, actually, yeah, maybe it tastes like champagne. I'm not sure. But there's wine in there. If I turn really red, my whole body turns red because I'm allergic to it and I just had wine. If it won't kill me, I'll just turn really red. So we ordered an avocado dish and like they actually bought over a bowl of avocados and asked us to choose one. I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I ordered a chicken burrito and then we ordered a avocado dish to share. And then, oh, it's like guacamole. It's like guacamole nachos, 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 I'm pretty yeah. sure. Um, but yeah, it's nice to go to a different area for once because we're always in like Ikebukuro, Shibuya, Shinjuku, etc. Harajuku and I'm kind of getting really bored of those places because every time I go, we go to the same places and it's just not interesting anymore. So anyway, after this, we're going to go shop. So we're going to maybe go to H&M and then going to go off to like the boutiques and everything down in Tokyo Station area and then I want to buy a pair of boots if I can come across them. If I find nice ones, I'll buy it, but if not, Cool, I don't really have to buy them today. Yeah, this is a Shinkansen passing by right now. I'm actually taking the Shinkansen next weekend. I'm going to Osaka. Yay! I can't wait. I love Osaka. It's actually my favorite city in Japan. Um, if I could, I would actually move to Osaka. Oh, really? Yeah. Osaka's like my favorite place. I like it better than Tokyo. I feel that people are nicer in Osaka and more friendly and also it's just, I don't know, it's just more chill. There's the Yamanote line. This is a guacamole that um, Bro and Han picked the avocado because they asked us to. I did. So like, yeah. You guys, I, I picked the best quality avocado in the batch. That's good. Just for Kim and Yummy. Alright, I'm going to eat now. And then I also got a chicken burrito with one nacho on it. <laughs> it looks so good though, like... Oh, look at all the sauce. Looks amazing. Alright. And this is really good, by the way, guys. What, like this? Yeah, it's amazing. Like, this guacamole, seriously, it's so good. We finished lunch and that was a really late lunch actually so now we're gonna head to H&M and we're gonna head towards the main Tokyo station area because we're actually in the Yurakcho area right now there's really nice autumn leaves out right now oh yeah so nice I was just thinking that so when I first moved to Japan last year I don't remember seeing all this or maybe I just didn't go out I don't know but <laughs> maybe I just didn't go out I just didn't see this last time Christmas tree so we're at Tokyo Station now and if you guys want to take the bus to the airport it's just right here for Narita Hanada's on the other side but it's only 1,000 yen to get to the airport which is the cheapest way I believe to get to the airport for Narita anyway What? Only 1,000 yen? It's only 1,000 yen, yeah Right here, this one right here So yeah, if you guys want a cheap way to the airport see right here, there's a bus Narita Airport, 1,000 yen right there all right so i'm gonna just look in the sh i'm just window shopping I'm not gonna buy anything yet who's our credit card hey <laughs> this is my credit card things no i won't do that um yeah so there's some malls around here this is daimaru and they've got like i guess brands here so if you guys like brands you can come shop in here i'm gonna go into prada because i've got this prada obsession which is terrible just terrible but I can't help it there's this black bag and inside it's like red and it's so gorgeous I really want to get that so I'm gonna go have a look at it all right so we went shopping inside the mall and didn't buy anything I had a look at the bag that I wanted to buy but it's unfortunately a little bit too small I expected it to be a little bit bigger because I saw the bag online and I want to see it in person and yeah, I don't know, I may get it in the end because I really like it. For now, we're going to go to H&M and then, I don't know, I was thinking like maybe we can go to Shinjuku after because we can go shopping for like some scarves because I really want some more winter gear and 
I don't shop at Liz Lisa anymore though, but there's like a sale in Liz Lisa for like coats for like $100 for a coat, which is pretty cheap. So I might go have a look because I want to buy a new winter coat. Tokyo Station looks nice at night time. So we're gonna go to the H&M, which is just right here somewhere. I saw it. Oh, it's behind that thing. It's just right there. H&M. See if I can find some clothes here that I can buy. I don't need any clothes. I just want some more. <laughs> don't really see anything that I like right now. Oh. Ooh, sweater That's dress. Nice. I That's love really sweater dresses, same. but not that one. Mm -hmm. This stuff is the stuff I used to wear when I worked in an office. Guys, would you like a pineapple PPAP pie? It smells really good though. Damn. In Shinjuku now and as you can see it's very crowded and we can barely walk this is this is why we go to uh, less crowded places but we really wanted to shop and Tokyo didn't have places that we wanted to shop at so unfortunately we have to come here <sighs> okay let's cross over here okay we're gonna go to Studio Alta because I want to go to this Lisa I'm in this Lisa and I'm buying something. I'm buying this coat. So it's fake fur, so don't worry. And it's not too bad, it's like $130, which is not too bad. And I need a new coat anyway. So right now I am in Zoff and I'm buying some new glasses because I feel my eyes have gotten my eyes have gotten a lot worse. And the glasses I currently have, I kind of like dropped them a lot of times and like stepped on them and I've kind of it's not broken, but they're a little bit scratched, so sometimes it's a bit hard to see. So I decided to buy some new ones. I think I'm due for some new glasses. And also glasses are very cheap to buy in Japan. Um, the one I chose was only about $70. And in Australia, they cost about $200 or so dollars for glasses. So I'm going to get my eyes tested again because I feel that my eyes have gotten worse. I did a test last time in Japanese, but I'm pretty sure you can do it in English as well if you ask them. But yeah, it's fine. Um, it's really easy. If you can read hiragana, then I'm pretty sure that's enough. Um, to be able to do a test because that's from what I remember last year that's all I had to do um, anyway Bronwyn and I are gonna go get some dessert after this Yay. after this and then um, we are gonna go home and edit okay waiting for my glasses so we decided to go get some cold stone um, oh they're singing that's cute they're singing Oh, I want to get this caramel green tea. They are making my green tea drink that I bought. Yay! And then that's one ones I believe. And I'm making. Hey. <laughs> she just said she's nervous now this camera is. Yeah, so I got this green tea caramel smoothie. Can't wait to eat it. Anyway, I have to sit down and wait for about half an hour anyway for my glasses because um, I did the eye test and the, yeah, the eye test was really quick mainly because I've been a customer at that store before so they had me on record but I wanted to do my eye test again because I feel my eye has gotten worse which it did um, and then so what happened was that they asked me to read some Japanese like just simple like letters uh, which is easy enough my left eye is bad it's like minus 1.75 my right eye is perfect so it's like plus or minus zero which is really annoying so you know when I go out like if I don't wear glasses, if I can't read something on a menu like far away, 
I just close one eye. Why? Then no I'm good. Way. Yeah, and then what? I can see everything because this is my bad eye. So if I close this eye, then I can see everything from my right eye. So it works. Alright guys, I am back home now. I didn't really buy much today, but I thought I'd just do a quick haul anyway to show you guys what I bought. So I went to Zoff and Zoff is like a glasses store in Japan. They are very popular, they have a lot of different styles and it's also pretty cheap. So I got my pair of glasses for about $75 and there was so much to choose from. I chose this pair because, I don't know, I just really liked how it looked. Oh, it's dirty already. I opened it up and then, you know. I'm really bad at keeping glasses. My glasses are always super dirty. Um, anyway, so I picked this pair. It's like, don't know if you can tell by the lighting, but it's kind of like purplish and yeah, I really like it. Anyway, so when I first moved to Japan like last year, exactly one year ago actually, I realized that I forgot to bring my glasses from Australia. And I mean, I'm not blind because this eye is like perfect, but this eye is bad, so if I need to see something, I'll just close one eye and I can see everything. But when I was editing, I realized I was getting really, like, I was getting headaches and I just really needed glasses, I felt. So I remembered tweeting, like, where can I get glasses in Japan? So a bunch of people tweeted me and told me to go to Zoft, so I did. And in Australia, when you get glasses, usually you have to wait one or two weeks to get them. So I was thinking, oh, I have to suffer for one or two weeks, but you know, that can't, can't be helped. So I might as well just go now and buy my glasses. But when I got there, I was surprised because I got there and did my test. And then they told me, oh, come back in about one hour and then you'll get your glasses. So I was shocked because in Australia, you always have to wait for your glasses. But in Japan, you get them like straight away. Yeah, I picked up my glasses and yeah, they... They feel really good. They are super comfortable and I really like this look. And then I went to Liz Lisa, which I have not gone in a very long time. I was actually really annoyed because when I was in Australia, I had a Liz Lisa point card, which I threw away. I didn't bring it with me because I was like, I don't shop at Liz Lisa anymore. I don't need this. And then um, I got an email this morning because I was still subscribed to their, um, I guess, their email. And then they were like, oh yeah, like there's a sale on jackets. So I decided to go to Liz Lisa just to check it out because I don't mind their jackets. Like, I looked at some of the new collection of dresses and stuff and, you know, that wasn't my style. Like, Liz Lisa, I used to like them a lot, as you guys know, but now I haven't really been wearing it lately because I think ever since I went to Korea in June or July, I just started liking the more casual fashion. But I've been eyeing this coat for a very long time, Liz Lisa, so let me just open it up. So this is the coat I got from Liz Lisa. It is all fake fur. I checked before I bought it. I don't like this furry hand thing, so I'm going to be taking this off, which um, which is good. Like It can come off. So this is the coat. I probably won't wear it with this outfit, but I really like it. It's so warm and it feels so nice. That is all that I bought today. I only bought two things, but it was a really successful day. Um, it was nice going to Tokyo and shopping around there because I don't go there often. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'm going to end this video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next Vlogmas. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it because it supports me. Also follow all my social media down below. I got my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, which I've been trying to update lately. I got a Snapchat as well, which I don't really update, but I will try. And I also got a diary so you guys can follow me there as well. I post random stuff here and there if you guys want to know my random thoughts. And I'll see you guys in the next Vlogmas video, which is tomorrow. Bye.